People are increasingly criticizing Web2 social networking apps for issues like insufficient user privacy protection, content censorship, and limited user interactions. Cases like Facebook were pointed out for their inability to safeguard user privacy, leading us to the fact that Web2 involves numerous service providers lurking in the background. With blockchain, it is possible to remove the unnecessary service provider that stands between creators and consumers. This is why Subsocial was created, a web-free technology pioneer with the promise of data sovereignty. Let's explore this Social 5 project with Polkadot Insider. Follow our channel to stay updated on news and real-time data about Polkadot ecosystem. Subsocial is a web-free open platform and a decentralized social networking protocol. Built on Polkadot with the Substrate Framework and IPFS, Subsocial allows for a chain to be run for every social app. Think of it as a decentralized Reddit or Medium. The Subsocial protocol comprises a set of Substrate models and a website frontend that users can utilize to create their decentralized, censorship-resistant social spaces. Subsocial, therefore, is not a social media platform like Twitter. It is an open platform for creating social media with the potential for multiple distinct social networks to operate on it. With Web2 media platforms, the most common way to monetize is advertising. Facts are that platform would take a huge share of profits and only give back a small portion to creators. Subsocial leverage blockchain technology to achieve social fi and offer content creators various monetization methods. With its web-free features on its app ecosystem, with Pokeverse, posts, spaces, and comments can all receive rewards, and the reward amount going directly to the creator's account. For pay subscriptions, creators own the content and can sell or rent it as an NFT to other spaces. Each space can have its social tokens, allowing fans to co-own and participate in space governance. In Web2, users do not own the platform, with sub-ID on subsocial. Space creator can possess ownership of their spaces. Each space functions like a DAO and can have its treasury. This also refers to a valuable system on subsocial called content staking. Content staking aims to sustainably reward users with subsocial native token, sub, by actively engaging with good content on the network. With content staking, user will need to lock up at least 2,000 sub in prior to join the system. Then, you can free to earn sub in two different ways, either as a content creator by posting content on Pokeverse, or as a user by liking content and commenting under post. If creating content is not for you, you can just simply interact with other content creators by like and share at least 10 posts a day for consistent rewards. Remember, the more interaction, the more rewards for you. Subsocial also grants each space the authority to review content, Others' current apps built on Subsocial protocol to support the chain are FriendTube, Web-free video platform, Grill Chat, Web-free community chat box, and the upcoming features, Fanfare, a personal community with monetization features, new feeds and live chat. It's promised that community can earn up to 40% annually through staking, with vloggers getting a share of rewards. Compared to other Web-free social projects, Building on Polkadot gives Subsocial the best of both worlds, a custom blockchain built specifically for social use cases, and access to a thriving ecosystem without the use of bridges. Subsocial is a social media unbounded. Like and subscribe to Polkadot Insider.